Welcome back to How to BIM. It's been a while since I've posted videos, but I think since the new uh, Autodesk products are out, this video would be very useful. So we will start with a regular search to find the products. Obviously, sign in to your Autodesk account. If you don't have a, a student or a trainer teacher account, you can check the video in the uh, right top of the screen where you can follow the steps. And so we'll scroll through the products until we find Navisworks Manage. We will select the 2025 version in English, and then we will choose uh, install, not the custom install, nor the download option. Accept. And uh, we will wait for the uh, download process. Now open your downloads folder and start the installation process. If you are new to Navisworks and you want to learn how to set up your workspace or, or how to import models from Revit to Navisworks or anything related to flash detection, quantification and all the other features provided by Navisworks, you you can check one of my Navisworks playlists. I will make sure to include it in the uh, description and I'll link it in the right top of the screen. Now we will launch the installation process. That might take a while, so you can just go get something done while Navisworks gets installed. And here we go. From first glance, we have a new home screen looks a lot like Revit's and AutoCAD's home screen, which is a nice update. We obviously don't have any projects created, and assuming this is your first time uh, installing and using uh, Navisworks, I'm going to show you how to create a project quickly or simply how to uh, import a project into uh, Navisworks from Revit. Go and launch Revit 2025. If you don't have the 2025 version, you might as well watch the video in the description. That way you can work with multiple uh, Autodesk products uh, in the same version, which is, uh, that will save you a lot of hassle. So I've went straight to the uh, default example project of uh, Revit 2025. I think it's the same project last year. But yeah, we will try to export it and then um, import it into uh, Navisworks. But when I go to the export tab, I do not find the option to use NWC exporter, which is the regular tool to export from a Revit to Navisworks. So I'm going to go back to a search and go for Revit Navisworks exporter include this link in the description below so i need to export nwc files from revit click here and scroll down the first one is navisworks Free navisworks freedom it's not the one that we're looking for scroll down till you find the nwc file exporter so the 2025 version is uh, separated into uh, two files we have file one and file two start with downloading the first one but obviously since we need two uh, files it will not launch on its own so we uh, should get the second file go to the folder and uh, launch your setup accept the uh, conditions go next Now we wait for the installation process, which shouldn't take long. And then we can execute the program. Now we should launch Revit again and go to file and export. And now we can find the NWC exporter. So try to find the right location for you and export the project. Now we'll go to Navisworks Append and we will uh, append the model that we have just exported. Make sure that you select NWC so you can find your uh, project. 
And here we are. Okay, now that we have a model ready, we should start exploring the rest of the new features. So let's just do a quick search and go. First of all, we have the new home screen, which we already um, talked about. We have a screenshot here. The second feature is the enhanced property panel. Let's try to check that out in Navisworks. So, so let me just load my regular uh, workspace. You can find, uh, you can learn how to create a workspace from uh, one of the videos in the description below. Now I'm going to select some elements and we can uh, find them in the selection tree. And then on the other side of the screen, we have the property tab, which did not look like that in the previous versions. That's uh, a very cool update in which you can find all the possible uh, properties of your uh, selected elements. We'll go to the third feature, which is a translation framework for IFC import. So um, in the previous version, there's been some issues when importing IFC into Navis works, but with update, you have a 50% decrease in the load time compared to the previous versions, improved geometric fidelity and improved large coordinate support, which is something very helpful for uh, project coordinators. Now we'll get to the next feature, which is above or uh, below grid. We have a video about this and it looked really cool, so I'm excited to try it out. Set to fixed and then uh, select an active grid and display level. And then choose whether you want to see above and or below. So I'm going to show my grids and then going to go to mode above. And when I check my model, I can see my grids. Now I'm going to go back to uh, mode and stick to fixed as requested. Then go to the drop down and cho then choose which grid I want as a reference for this section. Then choose whether it's going to be above or below. And that's the result you'll get. It's very useful because you get to see this in Revit, it's true. But once you're in Navisworks, you can only navigate inside the uh, building, but you cannot create sections. So that's a very interesting and beneficial feature. For and finally, we got to the last uh, new feature, which is find items. So some of the issues that have been solved with this current uh, issues related to file units, to the German version of Navis works, to uh, not being able to find the dimension uh, property in some of the uh, lists and not uh, being able to find certain parameters in some items. So supposedly this um, update pretty much solves all of these issues. I think in order to understand exactly the um, changes within this update, we should create a video or just simply, yeah, that's it for the feature for the new features of Navisworks 2025. I hope you guys are intrigued to actually try them out in your projects. And if that's your first time using Navisworks, out there are there's there's a lot of uh, great content on YouTube that could help you um, coordinate your projects or do your clash detection or your quantification or your timeline, etc. So yes, thank you and see you in the next video.